So now I'm going to take the image that I want to use for the splash screen and I'm just going to paste it into drawable. So Ponzi underscore logo dot PNG. You want to make sure that uh, your images um, are also lowercase or at least start with the lowercase uh, letter. So instead of drawable icon, uh, now the source is going to be drawable Ponzi underscore logo. And I'm going to save that and then let's take a look at it. There we go. So now this is what's going to be in essence our splash screen and now you know we've got the layout and that layout has been described in an XML file but now we need to use Java to actually make it do something on the screen and I, I told you we were going to be looking at not everything um, in every subdirectory but really it was going to be Java files, um, the layout, and then there's one other file uh, that we're going to be talking about which is the Android manifest file. Um, again there's a couple of different ways of looking at it. We can look at the actual code here which is the way I prefer um, to look at it. And this is what's going to guide uh, our application at compile time and show uh, Android um, it's gonna point out some some ways in which we want our our application to act so the first thing here you'll see is that our dot splash which is our uh, splash.java class file that's what's gonna be run initially that's gonna be run first and you'll see the intent this intent filter is going to show that as uh, the main uh, activity that's going to be going to be launched at the beginning we're going to talk a ton about um, this manifest file but for now just know that when we created the splash.java um, our first activity it automatically put uh, that in the manifest file. So let's go back to splash.java because we actually need um, our application to actually do something. If we ran the application right now, uh, the only thing, you know what, I, maybe we'll just run it right now and we'll see uh, what actually happens. Now to do that, um, I, I don't like using the emulator so I like to to actually run the application on my phone and I'm using um, some alpha code that was written uh, that allows me to pop up the screen um, and you actually just see my phone on the screen so so here's my uh, here's my phone and we're gonna go back into Eclipse and I'm gonna click on the app name I'm gonna right click and say run as Android application and then let's see what happens okay it ran uh, it ran through and compiled the code but we have this hello world splash and it, it put the name of the app Ponzi stock but why didn't it uh, put our splash screen well uh, a couple of things happened here one is if you look at the uh, the Java file you can see uh, here where it says set content view set content view is where we're telling Android I want you to point to a particular XML file and this is what's going to be um, our screen for this activity and you can see that it's actually pointing to an XML file called main. And if we pull main up, 
and look at the code, our image isn't in here. It was in the splash.xml file. But you will, you can, you can see here that there's this uh, at string hello. I don't want you to totally confuse you here, but if we go into the strings.xml file, which this is pointing to, we can actually see where we're getting hello world from. And that's right here. So hello world uh, splash is coming from the strings XML file, which is coming from the main XML file. But that's not what we want. We want our Ponzi logo to show up. And to do that, really all we need to do is change main to splash. Again, that splash is pointing to, you see the r.layout.splash? That r is for res, so r.layout.splash is what we actually want uh, to come up. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And let's run it again. Now, I could right click it and say run as Android application, but since I've run it once, I can actually run it in debug mode, which I wanted to do, um, or I could just run it from here. But I'm going to click the bug, it's going to come up. And there we have um, our splash screen, but the splash screen doesn't go away. And the splash screen, the way the splash screen starts to work, is supposed to come up and then go away. Well, that's because we just haven't put in the code for that yet. So let's go back in and let's talk about, in general, we'll go over in depth uh, in another video exactly what the Java code uh, is doing. But this is our, our first class. So we've created a class called Splash. And we're extending another class called Activity. And remember when we were on the Blackboard and I said that we've got the base uh, Java JDK and we also have the Android SDK which is all the stuff that we need to be able to communicate with the phone, the additional Java. Well, that is what we're getting in Activity. So Activity has a bunch of uh, methods, a bunch of functionality that we get for free and we can reference just by using this extends language. So Splash extends Activity and all of a sudden we get a bunch of stuff. Now in here we're overriding a method, we are uh, um, doing a bunch of stuff that is just going to confuse you uh, until we talk about Java. But the main thing that we've got here is we've got our set content view and what we need is a way to say, okay, when this gets created, when this activity gets created, I want you to not only set the content, but I want you to wait for a few seconds, and then I want you to go on to our main screen. And to do that, we are gonna create a handler. We're gonna call it X. And then when we want to refer to that handler, all we have to do is use dot notation. But you'll notice, I uh, probably already have noticed, that we have an error here um, under handler. And if you hover over it, it's the handler cannot be resolved to a type. So when we extended activity, we did not include um, all of uh, even though we have access to all the functionality, we didn't include that and we need to 
if we want specific pieces of functionality of activity think of extends activity gives us the the right uh, to go access it but it still requires that we import the piece of functionality we want now I could type it in um, or you just hover over it and say I want to import uh, the handler and it types it up right there for you the less um, amount of typing uh, you can do the better because then you know it won't be prone um, prone to mistakes so now we've uh, created an instance of handler and we want to do something with it we can uh, use dot notation so X is the instance and now we have access to all the methods for the handler and I'm actually want to use uh, a method called post delayed and as you type it narrows down what our options are and we're going to create an instance of splash handler and we'll talk about that in a second but here's where we set the delay and it's in milliseconds so 2000 milliseconds is two seconds that we want the splash screen to be on the screen before it goes off and does something else and actually that does something else is move to uh, our main activity okay um, but we have another error here and if you highlight it it's that same error that you can't resolve a type and that's because splash handler um, you know hasn't been imported but in this case it's not because it hasn't been imported because splash handler is uh, is not part of uh, the activity it's actually a class that we're going to create